Hi and welcome. I'm Joko, and joining with me always is the lovely Haley. Hi. This is the Anna Munchies podcast where we talk about life in California from here in LA all the way to San Diego and in between. Flip on that nerd switch, talk about gaming, anime, and Haley's specialty, K pop. K pop. <laughs> of course. You're. you're Super specialty mm-hmm. <laughs> and her superpower, K-pop knowledge and Not even. everything else. <laughs> Whatever. Um, so, hey, everyone. How's everyone doing? Uh, you could also, I just want to give everyone a heads up that we will be doing new videos, ev- new video episodes. It'll be released every Sunday on YouTube. Mm-hmm. If you haven't noticed already, we've, we've actually been doing that, but I never really said it out loud. <laughs> But just in case anyone was curious or wondered whenever we release these video episodes, it's on YouTube on our channel, Anna Munchies Podcast, every Sunday. And in between uh, the week, around maybe around like when, around Wednesdays, sometime in the middle of the week, we'll have special podcast-only episodes where we just more casually talk about what we've talked about in recent episodes mm-hmm. or stuff going on. So tune in on any of the podcast streaming uh, sites or not sites, but applications like, like Spotify. Spotify, Google, Apple Podcasts. Uh, so you can hang out with us there without having to look at our faces. Aww. Our beautiful, ugly faces. <laughs> anyway, so let's kind of get into it. Some more food talk. Right. Some of our favorite food places are uh, Korean barbecue places. Yes. Especially um, the all-you-can-eat. Of the all-you-can-eat variety, yes. is <laughs> everyone's favorite, right? <laughs> But um, some places here in L.A., uh, especially in Koreatown, of mm-hmm. course, Koreatown. Right. They, they have, have Korean so barbecue spots that are good. And a lot barbecue of, spots. A lot of them. We're blessed. <laughs> very blessed. <laughs> Except. <laughs> truly tru- blessed. I feel truly blessed. <laughs> Where's that from? The office. The office. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. When he's when Will Ferrell, right? Yeah. He's like listening. You can't hear anything. Yeah. I, I, feel, feel, truly I feel truly blessed. blessed. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we're truly blessed <laughs> to be here in L.A. A lot of. Korean barbecue mm-hmm. destinations and locations, obviously, and especially around Koreatown, mm-hmm. for obvious reasons. Right. <laughs> and um, actually, I know we just talked about and brought up like all you can eat, mm-hmm. but we also go to some that are not. Yeah. More of the kind of like sets. Yeah, it's more like. Mm, it's more quality more, over quantity. Yeah, it's more in terms of that situation. Too. Yeah. Just so because you kind the of meat get what quality. You pay for because the meat quality. It's super marbled. Like the yeah. meat is super it's marbled. So good. Compared to like, you know, just the usual brisket that they give you at other, like all you can eat Korean barbecue ones right. that are usually like what, like they range from 20 to like 30 or $40 mm. per person. Yeah. And it's like, you eat till you pass yeah, out. Yeah, you eat so much. But then I feel like personally for myself, because I don't eat a lot because my stomach is really small Haley can eat a quarter if not <laughs> less than what i can eat and destroy in a so so you can eat barbecue <laughs> so going to like those ace barbecue spots is kind of a waste for me i feel right um because i get full really quickly and i'm just sitting there watching him eat so nothing wrong with that <laughs> enjoy the show um i was gonna say though the, the w- one specific spot that we wanted to highlight for this episode mm. is called ten raku yes very good. Like yes. the quality of the meat. We just kind of, we just found this on Yelp. I found it for your birthday like a couple of years ago. Right. We were like thinking, thinking, mm. talking about it. And then we saw the pictures on Yelp. Yeah. We're like, damn, this is some yeah. sexy looking meat. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it looks really Super good. marbled. And it looks really great. Like uh, the, just the quality mm-hmm. of like the meat itself. The specific one that we get, do you remember? I think Haley kind of remembers more than I do. Yeah. So the. They have like two combo sets, and I think the combo A is the one that we got because it's mm, okay. it's for two people, or oh, like I see. two to three people, and then combo B is more for like if you have more people in your party, right? But it's more expensive because you course. get more meat selection. But then the one that we got is combo A because of the Kobe premium like short rib. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's short rib. Super boneless sexy. short ribs. <laughs> yeah, boneless short ribs. I rib. think we literally only got that. Didn't we just keep oh, ordering actually, the same thing? Because you can choose from the meat set. They have like a lot of different meats on that one, but we always picked that one. And then I, I thought think it was the a premium. Set, I thought it was just they give you a set plate, and that's whatever comes with it. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. It's not all you can eat. Never mind. 
just not that just Haley ignore. can eat all she can anyway. <laughs> just ignore what I said. Yeah, it's a set. Plate. It's a set plate. Yeah, yeah so yeah, it's yeah. a set. They give you different, um, different cuts of meat. All of them super juicy and marbled. Mm. They look amazing on You're the right. gram, off the gram. Yeah, in my mouth in your on tummy. the grill. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's not right. Right, it's, right. <laughs> I, it's been a while since we've been there. Actually. Obviously, especially with like. You know, everything going on here. Basically, if you're not too familiar and you're from like outside of California, like a lot of the other states, restaurants have outdoor dining at least and indoor dining. Yeah. And some other states already are open. Not here. California, especially LA County, nothing. Yeah. No outdoor dining at all either. Right. Can you sucks. believe that? That's some BS. <laughs> asking me. It like, sucks. The only thing you can do is order takeout. Why would I order takeout for all you can eat Korean barbecue or like, K barbecue. <laughs> I go to the. We just go to the grocery, the Asian grocery store. Yeah, we've just been doing it at home. You go to the Asian grocery store. They have really good cuts of meat. It's cheaper, anyways, mm-hmm. compared to the restaurant. And right. Just cook but it I miss home. the experience of like, right. dining out. It is the experience. So once they lift all this, these crazy restrictions and BS crap, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know where to find BS us. <laughs> yeah. You'll know exactly where you'll find us that first weekend. <laughs> but yeah, Ten Raku, excellent place, right? Yeah. I mean, it was. It was really nice too. It's, it the wasn't too crowded when good. we went. Yeah, They're that's really another friendly. qualm that I have with a lot of K barbecue <laughs> places because they sometimes it feels like service is sometimes lacking. Right. They don't give an f about so you because they're busy. Yeah. Or like they're like, oh, what do you want? Blah blah blah. Just tell them every all the meat lists that you want, and then they're gone. Come back. They leave you there. Right. You have to call for them or ring that that Little doorbell. Bell. Yeah. They have like a doorbell. I, I think they should. Seen ha- it. They should have, have like these yeah, doorbells. Yeah, they should have that. <laughs> In every restaurant, I think. It's like common in Korea and Japan. Japan they too. always have it. Yeah, like so whenever you want bell. service. Instead you don't have to like wave them down wave, or anything. You Because then you don't bell. bother them. No. They can do what they need to do. And yeah, then when you really actually you. need something, instead of them always checking, which is nice too. Yeah. They actually checked up no, on us yeah, at this place. Do. But you, whenever you really do need something or, you know, yeah. you need refills for your drinks, yeah. need refills on your meat. Yeah. You just press that button, and, they get and it's a, a call. it sounds like a doorbell. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's a smart idea, actually. Yeah, I've only seen that those in um Asian restaurants, yeah. like sp- specifically Korean. the Korean restaurants, mm-hmm. and obviously when we were in Japan, right? They had that. I too. was like, oh shoot, they're yeah. everywhere in Japan yeah. too. America needs take to a, step up their I game. I know. Take some notes. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> I miss I miss K barbecue, like all you can eat. You're right. The experience itself is fun because it's always. You you go with a group of friends, or even if it's just us, it's more relaxed. Yeah, you don't have to worry Clean about up. dishes. Yeah. <laughs> so next time, you know, when all of this is done with, or at least when they open, maybe even outdoor dining yeah. again, you'll see us at Ten Raku. I was gonna say like for Ten Raku, because like usually with K barbecue spots, um, you know, they give you your meat and then you cook it yourself. But at Ten Raku, they cook it for you. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. that's true. That's a good point. I'm. I think they offer. Uh, they ask you if you want them to do it, or right. you can always tell them yeah. you want to do it to yourself. Mm-hmm. But they know what they're doing, so yeah, just they cook it well. That way, like me and they Haley stand just, there in front of you and cook the meat. Yeah, me and Haley were just watching and just talking to each other on our yeah. phones or like taking pictures mm-hmm. while you know someone was actually cooking for us, so we didn't have to worry about it. That also comes with the price. Like we said, it's pretty expensive. Yeah, it's. Uh, well, do you know the set uh, prices yeah, for for um. Set A, it's sixty eight ninety nine. Oh, so about then, seventy bucks. Okay. Uh, I think B is like B ninety. Is or ninety four ninety nine. Yeah, but so it comes pricey. With, yeah, it comes with a lot of um like side dishes. It's called banchan, so like you get a lot of like small side dishes like kimchi. They have like the pickled cucumbers, bean sprouts, fish cake. My favorite banchan is the fish cakes. Yeah, oh, um, what else is it? So. I like the macaroni. It's not macaroni and cheese. Oh it's no, like it's a, like a, a, almost like mac kind salad. of like a mild mac salad. Yeah. yeah. Without like any or excessive. potato salad, they have that as well. Oh yeah, they too. do have potato yeah. salad too. Um, Beans yeah, sprouts. but banchan. Yeah. I mean, if you've ever been Korean barbecue or Korean restaurants, you'll banchan. They'll, they'll always come up. Like it's the first delicious. thing after you order, they'll give you like little assortment of your kind of like free appetizer dishes. Yeah, and, that's and the it banchan. also comes with um, salad and rice. Too. Right, always. So, ten raku. Koreatown. Just go Koreatown even if you don't want Tenraku and you want an actual all-you-can-eat place. Yeah, there's so Every many. block. Yeah. <laughs> Every corner. Follow the lines. <laughs> follow the... Just look at... Yeah, there's some really good K-barbecue spots in K-Town. Yeah, actually. just Yelp it up. Google it. You'll... There's tons of them. Mm-hmm. We'll go over our few favorite ones because yeah. we obviously like the quality over the quantity. Mm-hmm. Like, like, you know, Tenraku, of, of yeah. course. So, check that out. 
We'll see you guys there. Hopefully someday, <laughs> someday this month or next month when <laughs> this is BS is, is done. Well. But yeah, so guess what time it is? Nerd switch time. Which one? <laughs> Haley's specialty. It's of already? Course. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Your specialty. And that, of course, is K-pop. K-pop. <laughs> oh, yeah. Finger hearts. Korean finger hearts. So, K-pop. Um, what are we going to be talking about well, this Well, actually, it's your specialty. Well, your main bias group, I guess. <laughs> Oh, it sounds like Blackpink. Yeah, it's Blackpink in so, your area. <laughs> in my area. Very soon to a TV nearby. Mm. Blackpink concert yeah, finally. is finally here. Next weekend. The no, 31st. it's going to be this weekend. For oh. after we, we're going to post this well, the January same weekend. January 31st. Right? January 31st. It's going to be on Sunday night on YouTube. So it's a YouTube online live streaming concert. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty excited to use that light stick. I know, finally. Woo! It's going to get Wave around lit the room. in our living room. It's going to be super <laughs> lit. We should get some food too, some snacks. We can we get, get Korean fried chicken. Excellent <laughs> idea, Haley. We finally have one nearby. We'll mm-hmm. talk about that soon yeah. in another episode. Yeah. If you haven't had Korean fried chicken, that's that's the other KFC that I like. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's and I'll get more into that. It's delicious. If you've mm. never had it, Korean fried chicken. So mm. if, you, if you see KFC, it's not just Kentucky. Yeah. Boys and girls. Korean. It's Korean. <laughs> or kitchen. I heard it also could stand for kitchen fried chicken. Is it? Oh, I've never heard that. But, but yeah, obviously the KFC <laughs> with the kernel yeah. we're familiar with is yeah, Kentucky yeah. fried chicken. So black pink, huh? Yep, black pink. He's so excited. I'm so excited. Because usually we've just been watching all the BTS online concerts. <laughs> and I haven't. I haven't been to an actual Blackpink concert because I've only recently become a blink. Yeah. And this is when all the COVID craziness right. happened. They were supposed to have a concert, like live concert last year as oh. well. But of course. So depressed about the whole Co- Coachella thing it's that they fun. were there. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Every time I see, because I follow obviously a a good number of black pink instagram accounts lame. now <laughs> just kidding lame, I'm, I'm just kidding He's nah i'm a true blink <laughs> yeah. right there right like bp voting fam <laughs> you know who you are uh black bp news black Pink news mm. yeah so i follow all of those and sometimes someone will randomly drop an instagram post yeah of when they were in coachella and right. it makes me so sad because i've been i used to go to coachella a lot mm-hmm. even back when i was in college which was like yeah, uh, ages ago, but almost, then the almost thing is, ten years the ago, which is insane. The thing is that to think they about. never had K-pop, and it's only been in like the recent years, like right. the recent like that, two to three years that they've been introducing K-pop to Coachella. Because when I went back in college, when I was in nursing school, I believe like in 2010, uh, it was there was no, no, there's zero K-pop. No, you would never no, even no, imagine no, K-pop, K-pop would be K-pop there. Back then. And it's also when it's before it like gets super hype, popular, mm-hmm. not to. Not to brag, I'm one of the OGs. Like when it was more like oh wait for Coachella indie, for Coachella, mm. like more indie, like indie groups, indie bands. Like, right, right. It's it was, like more like underground. Kind it of was awesome. Um, I mean, they always have top. <coughs> you know, they have some few big players the there sometimes. Yeah. Like the headliners, mm. but also like I was there when I saw the Postal Service mm. perform live. They barely perform live. They don't right. even at, at all. I saw Tegan and Sarah. Hmm. Oh, so it was great. Like I miss. I miss that type of group and vibe because I feel like more it started leaning towards mm. more like the EDC crowd and was more. Well, I was gonna say now like, people just go there to post for like Instagram. Yeah, like, and it's not even for the yeah. For yeah, the music. not for the music anymore. It's just but to I mean, be there. I'm sure. I'm sure people. <laughs> obviously, there's gonna be people no, there who I, are there course. for the music, but there's def. You could tell who's yeah. there, not just for the music, just for like the experience mm-hmm. and f- for the gram. Just to, just to kind of flex on everybody. Right. Oh, guys, I'm in. Well, I'm in Coachella. I was going to say, I've never been because I was right. too busy doing K pop concerts like 10 years ago. So Damn. I was ahead of my. I didn't know any better. Yeah, I didn't know better. <laughs> I'm, I'm a big indie, yeah. like rock and alternative rock person. Mm-hmm. Angels and Airwaves, Blink 182, went all, all like a lot of their concerts here in LA. Yeah. And of course, Motion City soundtrack. I wonder what that was. I heard a scary noise just now from our laptop sorry we're just looking back to make sure these things are actually recording you better be recording laptops be so pissed anyways (laughs) um 
So back to the the concert, which is gonna be on YouTube mm-hmm. because I think when we watch BTS, it was it was through Weverse. Weverse. They always have the BTS ones through Weverse. So Blackpink's is through YouTube, mm-hmm. through their actual official. So if you're curious about it yourself and you want to join us, because it's gonna be January thirty first Sunday night. So when it we is post the thirty first, right for us, because you remember how Korea is like the day ahead. Oh, you know what? We'll double check on that. Yeah, but that that way, yeah. So that's possible. It's so confusing sometimes but and on uh, on the concert it's just you go to like the youtube.com slash black pink official slash join mm-hmm. and you basically go to the buy area or like the purchase section mm-hmm. and there's gonna be it's like joining a membership but it's like a one-time only fee mm-hmm. i believe it's thirty dollars it's thirty dollars for like the live stream rebroadcast which means that you could re-watch the concert it's nice and also custom emojis i guess so you can you know i'm sure there's gonna be a bunch, bunch of yeah. blinks um all joined in at the same time everyone excited just kind of you know international yeah. global chat blowing up the chat yeah that so. you can't even read because it's going so fast <laughs> exactly <laughs> like, so if you're able to read all of that watch out for my emoji oh, no. <laughs> um and then i think I, I i also read or heard there's also gonna be a premium one mm. where there's like behind the scenes kind of thing i don't know exactly what they're gonna be showing they probably just show maybe like pre-con like yeah maybe like, like when sound they practice check, maybe? or sound check yeah so that I think that's an extra ten dollars. So that's thirty nine ninety nine. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so you just purchase everything through YouTube. There's a bunch of videos online, like so explaining could, how to do it exactly with yeah. all the instructions. You know, the fellow fellow blinks are there to help you. Yeah, they're so, always so helpful. Right. So we'll be there, and by there, right here behind us on this couch, on couch watching on this yeah. TV. <laughs> And I'm going to be going nuts. <laughs> Taking off my shirt, throwing it around oh, the room. Oh, no. <laughs> my hammer. Since I can't take off my shirt in the actual concert, I should just They'll enjoy it here at home. Yeah. Since there's no security or police inside <laughs> this house. Hopefully, no. it doesn't get too crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. I was just going to say something. You know the BTS concert? The last one? What? So, um, there was a news article. Actually, someone was, like, freaking screaming because, you know, when Jungkook did his um, solo and he was oh all boy. sexy. But they were, like, oh, well, they were legit, like, <laughs> screaming, like, so like loud. Like, bloody murder. <laughs> yeah. That their neighbor called the cops oh, sh- on them because they thought that someone was getting murdered or, like, abused. And, and then ex- they opened the door and they were, like, oh, it's just an, a BTS Korean concert. <laughs> It's just an army going crazy. I think this was in Australia as well. Yeah, in Australia, mm, I was like, "Damn, <laughs> yeah." Dang. So it can get pretty intense, even if you're at home, because you can really like scream. I guess if you want, you're more of the screaming yeah. type of person. <laughs> yeah. When she screams, like when like during the BTS concerts, scares me. <laughs> I should probably call the police because uh, holy crap, <laughs> some of that shit really scared me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um. Uh, so yeah, check it out. YouTube Blackpink. Mm-hmm. We'll talk about it afterwards, maybe on our little midweek podcast mm. episode where you could listen to us, like I said, on Spotify. Pr- primarily, Spotify is where I saw a lot of people have been listening. But mm. Google, Apple Podcasts, any other podcast streaming applications, check us out. And we'll kind of go over how the concert was. And like I said, it's less formal, yeah. more casual. Yeah. And that's it mm-hmm. for K-pop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Surprisingly, it's not K-pop with Haley. It was K-pop with Joko today. Yeah, it was so, his segment today, actually. Getting nervous. <laughs> Make sure I, I do my fellow blanks proud. Yeah, he got this. Okay, and now we'll talk about gaming. So, what happened over the the past holidays? Mm-hmm. My dad gave me a bag, mm-hmm. and this bag contained my old Nintendo sixty four. Yeah. So That's old right. School. My N64 with all my games. What is that like 20 years ago? I don't even want to calculate it. <laughs> I don't it probably is, if yeah. not even more, mm. more or less. Mm. But and it came with a couple games that I played with so much. I spent so much time as a kid playing these games. Uh-huh. I shared it with Haley. I shared it with um Casey, who's my younger sister, and her boyfriend when they were here for Christmas also. Mm. After my parents left, we were just playing N64 the whole time. Yeah, it was so fun. It was a lot of fun. And the main game, one of the main games that we were playing was Pokemon Stadium. <laughs> so good. It's crazy because thinking about it now, like people under 20, there's people who have never heard of this game yeah, or even know what it is. is. So po- Pokemon Stadium was an N64 game 
and it's mostly like a lot of fighting like with you know pokemon battles yeah. i mean so you're in a stadium and you release your pokemon right and it's like you only have three or i don't know if it's three or five i think it's three pokemon mm-hmm. at a time and it's kind of like the game but without any story right it's just going through like the different it's just battle after battle like the battles are the stories yeah you, and then you hit the elite four then you have to defeat them mm-hmm. and you can kind of before n64 had this cool cartridge that you tack to its weird looking controller i'm not gonna lie that's like one of the most unique I controller designs of the n64 like. Remember Probably like the, the, the middle remember it's that long thing in the middle that sounds really no. weird no and then the thing on the know. outside I'll, I'll put a picture yeah you don't remember you were using it you were Was holding I? The, we were how else did you play oh, n64 right, right. never mind <laughs> i thought you were telling me that it was attaching to something else I no i'm know. talking about the controller first and then yeah there's something behind it uh, that you attach um to it. it's like an adapter then you put your 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 game boy game like pokemon blue red mm. yellow silver gold later on and you can use your pokemon from oh, the game I see, I see. so like you're transferring yeah them. kind of transferring okay. it's not really like a like a full-on transfer right, like it, how it is these days like, but you could use, use the pokemon inside your actual game mm. and as cool as that is already the most important part for pokemon stadium for anyone that's played yes the mini games the mini games that's they what are you amazing get it for. pokemon stadium <laughs> one had like the clefairy like you, it's like DD, uh, DD. No, it's not DDR. It's like Simon says. Simon says, <laughs> and you follow like this Clefairy, mm. and you have to just you know it's it's like a memory game, right? And you it's like up, down, left, right, and you just have to follow it. And that's what reminds me of DDR because it's like right, arrows. Because it's arrows. I suck at that game. Yeah, she's pretty bad. I always I'm like dyslexic or something. I go the opposite way that it's doing. I'm pretty good at that know. game. <laughs> um, there's a couple other games. Was Her, it the sushi one? Is no, that not yet. That's number that's, two. Oh, I want to talk two. about that when we talk about number two in just like a minute. But there's also like a boulder, like a hardening game oh. where like a boulder is get, gets thrown on like and it's you're random like, metapod, or, metapod or, or Kakuna. Kakuna. And you have to like, like press harden right like when the boulder, the boulder like, hits you. you. There's also this weird thing where it's like a ring toss. You With throw ekans. ekans that are shaped as rings. Yeah, they kind of come out of like the holes and then like... Diglets come out of the holes. Yeah. And you throw the ekans, ekans onto yeah. the diglets. <laughs> And in Pokemon Stadium 2, they refined it a lot more and they made it more competitive and like in terms of it's like a really like a fun party game mm-hmm. because you have to earn like stars and the first All one right. to like nine stars wins. But you could get like you could steal stars depending who yeah, wins Yeah, you roll or a dice at the beginning and then it depends right. like if you're going to take stars away or from you're like your add, other competitors. It's all, I think stars. it's only four players yeah. still. And the mini games are very <clears throat> cool in this one. My favorite one is like you're like oh wait, one that we forgot in the first one, mm. the sushi one. Wait, it is right. Yeah, the first it one had the sushi, the sushi one. one. Right, that's why I said, and you're like, no, it's the number two. Oh, never mind. Maybe it was the, su- the sushi one. There's a sushi game. I'm not sure. Or I think the it's number one. You're lick a tongue, and you're eating like sushi. Yeah, you're like it's like there's sick. a sushi train going around you, and then and you're <laughs> lick a tongue in the middle, <laughs> and, and then you have to like sushis. try and like, grab there's the sushi. There's tamago. There's like tuna. But then if that's the first one. Yeah, if you grab the wasabi. Then you like drop, like you have to run around and stuff. Yeah, and your you can't tongue grab is on anything. fire. Yeah. So you're like kind of stunned. Then the second one, the Deli Bird game was my oh, favorite, where no. you grab presents. Yeah. It's like really cool. Oh my god, these games he are really He gets so amazing. competitive. He's like, he's like, move. Because I am the Pokemon <laughs> and he master. He like pushes me and like all my presents fall out of my bag because I get freaking I boxed, hit. I boxed out Kevin. <laughs> so like, because when you're, you grab presents and then there's like, Pillow swine. Uh, pillow swine's yeah. ru- running back and forth so you can't get hit by them. So Kevin like had a giant bag yeah. of presents and he was walking back because you have to return. Yeah, like, and then the heavier a bag is, you're like and the walking heavier, more slower. Right. Yeah. So you're getting, you're super, <laughs> he's already super slow and you have to like be careful and dodge these like pillow swines that yeah. are running around. Like, yeah. Uh, Swinubs. Oh, Swinubs. Swinubs that are yeah, running yeah. around and... What I did because the time was so close and I was like, I'm not even going to grab more presents. Yeah. I just ran and I like blocked him from he like dropped all blocking his him from like going to he where had you have to drop it off. diamond as well. Yeah. So he <laughs> like couldn't get around and then the swin of like ran into him. And, yeah, and he lost per- everything. When he lost everything. Yeah. He was so pissed. Yeah. He was out for blood after that. <laughs> <laughs> he like wanted to... Yeah. sabotage every game i was in i was like was i'll so let them funny. battle it out then i was just like walking around with my freaking sack and yeah. no, no one was bothering so me so many good games like the chancy one where you just catch eggs the scyther and pincer one where oh, you, like yeah. you time it and you cut a log like where, where the, the line is. is yeah 
there's so many games i can't even think of them all there's like a pichu one there's oh there's so many the golbat one this is that stupid golbat one one. you'll know exactly what we're talking about if you've ever played yeah or or if you will play yeah definitely check it out pokemon stadium 2 (laughs) is uh i think is better than pokemon stadium 1 personally for the games Especially because the graphics. <laughs> the graphics and the games itself, the gameplay itself, and the mini games, there's way more. Mm. So if you had to choose between the two, definitely if you want to purchase it, because I know people sell them too, used right now also. Mm. So just get yourself Pokemon Stadium too. There's no need to get number one unless you really want to collect it. I had them. These are my these are my Pokemon games when I was a kid. So right. these still work. Mm-hmm. And what we did is uh, we connected it to our TV right here, and there's adapters you could get on Amazon where you connect the N64 to like an HDMI port and then to like the regular electrical plug. Mm-hmm. And that way you could actually play on your HD TVs mm-hmm. with uh, HDMI uh, connections. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to like pull out, look for like some some ghetto box TV. Oh, right, right. <laughs> so yeah. you can actually play it like on your yeah. on our newer TVs yeah, yeah. with an HDMI cable. Instead of having to scrounge around for all that other BS stuff. No one has that anymore, I don't oh, think. Oh, you'd well, be surprised. People, people that like, are pack rats, I guess, maybe. Yeah, so <laughs> Pokemon Stadium 2, definitely give it a try. If you've never heard of it, definitely look it up. Look at the mini games, And if you do have it, if you do know what we're talking about, then you know. You if you know, know, you know. Yes, exactly. Love it. So, I mean, if you feel feeling nostalgic, mm, definitely get it. Yeah. Pokemon Stadium 2, check it out. I know it's like N64. But Nintendo has like the best family party, party systems. Mm-hmm. Like it's family friendly, parties party friendly. It's always the most fun. Mm-hmm. So you can't go wrong. Get that N64. Find it if Pikachu. you've had it. Yeah, Pikachu. <laughs> Global phenomenon. Right. Anyways, so moving from gaming, we finished our K pop, finished our gaming. So you know what's next. There's a little hint of it on the table. Huh. Fire Force is the anime that we will be spotlighting yes. today. Currently obsessed. Very obsessed with, with Fire Force. We mm-hmm. were idiots and not watching it from the right. beginning. Uh, we just only started watching it. Yeah, so we... actually my friend that I made from the Animal Crossing community, mm-hmm. she was the one that recommended this anime to me because she was like, um, if you like, was it One Piece? Oh, no, because she likes similar animes to us, so I trusted her judgment as well. So I was like, okay, we'll check it out. It's a really good, like, textbook, but, like, even better than just a textbook, like, a uh, shonen mm-hmm. series. A lot of action. Main character is really cool. Yes. He um, is amazing. Oh, my God. He's I'm really like cool because he's not him. stupid. No, he's that not is stupid. my pet peeve with anime main characters. Any anime <laughs> MCs and protagonists that are, like, airheads and dumb. Or yeah, like, like, they just don't know what the heck's going stupid. on. It goes over their head. Oh, my God. I don't even... I don't finish the first episode. Mm. Just move on with my life. Yeah. I do not want to waste it. Yeah. So if you watch this first episode of Fire Force, I guarantee you'll be hooked because like you right. get to see how he is. In and the he's really cool. The power is, I mean, yeah. it's kind of, because it was kind of misleading because we thought it's more like, you know, like Fire like Force. Firefighting. Think, like, oh yeah, firefighting. No, but then these, these guys have powers. They have powers and it's very like deep and in-depth. The more yeah. you watch the more episodes, you'll see that there's a lot of stuff going on beside, behind the scenes. Yeah. And, like, the whole story and, like, background of everything. Yes. So, I mean, basically, Shinra is the protagonist. Yes. Super cool. He um, joins the Fire Force. So, there's a regular Fire Force. Like, the I mean, regular, fire fire force, fighters, regular firefighter yeah. squads that take out fires. And then, in this, like, in this world <laughs> that they live in, people spontaneously combust. Into flames. Into, yeah. So, their whole body goes on fire. But they don't just, like go on fire and die right they become infernals yes which are like fire zombies kind of like yeah fire zombies (laughs) they're basically basically fire zombies so the fire force are people that are super strong or either have superpowers Mm -hmm. um and they this not destroy they put them to rest rest. yeah put to rest these infernals because technically the infernals are kind of like alive so they it's kind of there's like a religious thing in the show too in terms of you know wanting to put them to rest, like the souls yeah. of the pe- of the infernals, and yeah, because they're all innocent people. Yeah, they just yeah, because they're that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to find out the cause of it and stop it, <clears throat> and then along the way, a lot of other things happen, mm. and 
you know, more more story background right. makes it more exciting. Yeah. There's two seasons, so and we're final. We we flew through the first season, which yeah. was like 24 episodes, mm-hmm. and like halfway, we are halfway right. through the second season now. Yeah. And the second season just came out in 2020, so we're not too far behind. Mm-hmm. Not to mention, there has not been any conventions or anime expo recently. So technically, we are not far behind at all because no one cosplayed with them last year since there's no yeah there was no anime expo convention. to cosplay at. Yeah, I bet when there's an anime convention, like either you'll this, see this year out, or next you'll year. You'll see firefighter yeah. outfits with the blue strips. Oh, yeah, for sure. Strip lights Actually, everywhere. one of my friends back in 2019, mm-hmm. she dressed up as Iris from Fire Force. Already? But it wasn't well. It oh, wasn't yeah, it wasn't released well yet. Right. It wasn't oh, it even wasn't released. released. Yeah. yeah. Cause it, but the she first knew anime about ep- it already. The first anime uh, season for Fire Force came out 2019 after <coughs> Anime Expo mm-hmm. already. Because mm-hmm. Anime Expo is in July, like 4th of July weekend. So it was after that. Yeah. So like Haley said, knew. if you didn't know. Because through the you, manga, I guess. If you didn't read the manga, then you wouldn't really have known about it. And I'm so glad we watched this and gave it a shot. Yes. Hit our top five. Like, yeah, we each have easily. our own top five list, like mm-hmm. anime list. And this hit. Yeah, Both it of pushed our top off five. like some other ones. Some other we'll ones. talk about our top five list mm-hmm. and other mm-hmm. anime spotlights yeah. and highlights another time. But for this time, Fire Force, check it out. Yeah, it's so good. You will fall in his, love. His with power Shinra. is like um, he, his is because he's called a third generation. You could find out more about, about these generations. Yeah, they have different powers depending on what generation so they, they can are. control fire. And or like he, make he can fire. he can actually create fire because second generations can only manipulate. He could actually manipulate and like make fire, but it's from his feet. Yeah, he's <laughs> so, so it's cool, cool when he fights. It's like break dancing, yeah, and, so, and he and can he fly because of the fire. It's really cool, and he's like I said, he's like not a dumb main yeah, character. He's, he's like he's really younger too. He's yeah. like a kid. It's like a typical shonen. Yeah, except he's smarter. He's brighter. Yeah, and the reason why he joined the fire force is because he wanted to find out why or what happened. Because in his past, it it shows mm. flashbacks in the first episode. Like his- his, what happened to his brother. mom and his little baby brother because his whole house was on fire and there was like an infernal he could remember seeing in his flashbacks yeah and he wants to like find out who find that out was. what what happened what yeah. was going on what who that was fire. and yeah. that's why he joined fire force to kind of get more information about that and the fire force that he joined which is like fire force company number eight yes there's different there's different companies and you'll kind of find out more, but then they they're specifically they want to look for the cause also and look yeah. more into mm-hmm. what happened and why why is this happening the spontaneous human combustion, combustion yeah. phenomenon. Yes, please watch it. It's so good. Thanks, I, Yasmin. Yeah, thank you, Yasmin, <laughs> for pushing her to push me to watch it because yeah. the action is so good. The animation is really good. The music is good. You'll you'll fall in love with it if you're a Soul Eater fan. Mm, they're the, the same, same creator same creator yeah. of soul eater and even though the anime didn't end up like near the end like i think halfway or at the end didn't follow the manga which mm. is kind of a shame this one seems it's like good when you watch the next series of a i think an artist or a creator that did a big series before because they learn from all the mistakes right. and what they did wrong yeah i've heard that like a lot of people didn't finish soul eater for those reasons yeah exactly yeah. so that's why i think the creator, when he came up with Fire Force, knew what to do this time. Where it, what went wrong yeah. and what learned from the mistakes, right. basically that were made, and that's why it's so good. It's more refined, right? Exactly. But Soul Eater itself was such a cool it was series. Good Even too. Soul Eater, not which is like a a different side spin-off. story mm-hmm. spinoff. Yeah. Super cute, and it's really yeah. The cool. animation's really cute. Yeah, Soul Eater. If you want to check it out, animation was definitely ahead of its time too back yeah, then it was really true. cool but if you watch style. soul eater and then you watch fire force you can definitely see the influences you're like oh, oh my, my god, god. <laughs> easily <laughs> like because like, even shinra he looks like looks, he looks, looks like, like soul, soul. <laughs> yeah his like teeth like yeah. the he's always smiling he has mm-hmm. like those jagged, like, sh- jagged sharp, teeth. sharp teeth yeah yeah so definitely check it out i'm glad i did and i think that kind of concludes it for today <laughs> yeah Time always flies, I feel like. Yeah. It's probably not as short or as long as I think it is. It's I have no time re- frame reference. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too long. So sorry if we just we're going along, mm. trucking along. So next next episode will be out, like I said, on uh the, the next Sunday. Video episode that mm-hmm. is. Mm-hmm. And along with the video episodes every weekend, we also put out the podcast episode, which coincides with the video episodes. Mm-hmm. 
So it's the same thing. So it's either you listen or you watch one or the other. But if you want to see the videos where I do a little bit of editing yeah, also. Puts pictures. Some pictures to kind someone of Someone who edits are really funny. Like he doesn't show me until he's done and I'm like cracking up. Yeah, some of them are pretty <laughs> stupid. <laughs> like stupid funny. Stupid yeah. in a good way. Yeah. And uh, and if not, definitely, you know, hopefully if you're enjoying this too on – if you're just listening to it with headphones on or in your car, well, it will be every Sunday. And, we'll, and if you're like one of those people, then you can also hear our – starting in February or even af- maybe the last week of January, mm-hmm. we will start doing the midweek episodes, which are just podcast exclusive. Mm-hmm. So Just our voice. Just our voices. <laughs> yeah, listen to our sexy voices. Not mine. <laughs> Mine's like high pitched. And Haley's childlike voice. <laughs> Don't say that. And so that's it for today. And thank you for joining us as always, wherever you are listening to us or watching us out there in the globe. Thanks for joining. Peace. Peace.